All right. Uh, happy weekend, everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart, and this is the technical analysis stock market update for the weekend. Uh, Saturday, January 25th, 2014. Okay. The Dow Jones Industrial Average were down 318 points today on top of what was it, 175 points yesterday. And uh, honestly, I think some of us probably felt like today uh, somebody gave the order. Uh, where is it? And that was Russell Crowe from Gladiator said, on my signal, unleash hell. And I think at some point today, that's the way it kind of felt. So anyway, uh, the scenario that I'm looking at here is that if it breaks, the Dow Jones Industrials breaks this point here, then this whole uptrend scenario to me is off because I cannot really say that we are continuing in a fifth wave up. And th so therefore, some other action must be going on that completes this wave. I'm not sure what. So there's still a realistic possibility that this thing pauses in here, doesn't take out this point, and breaks back up. Now, um, playing out the same scenario on the S&P 500 index, it does look like we had wave one up from this wave four low. Okay, wave four here, wave one, two, three, four, which did not overlap one. And we had this very tiny wave five that did go to a new high, 1850.84 from 1849. And, very, and this, this is totally possible in, uh, with Elliott Wave in terms of the wave fives can be truncated waves. It can be very short waves. And notice the rule that wave three is not the shortest wave of the three waves. That still holds in here. So it's very possible that our five wave, fifth wave up has been completed. And if that's the case, we are in for major correction, major down uh, trend action for weeks, months to come. Uh, and we can get into that uh, in the future. So that's where I'm looking to confirm. Uh, nothing drops, you know, the bottom didn't totally drop out for, you know, forever it goes. Everything moves in waves, okay? Everything moves in waves. So that's, but we, this could possibly be the high on, on January 15th for the S&P 500. So we'll have to see if that's the way it plays out. Let's take a look on a weekly basis. Uh, the Dow closed below the 10-week 10 10 moving average, below the low of the last four weeks. Um, we got DI minus above DI plus, and uh, the S&P 500 on a weekly basis. Um, oh, shoot, I know I had it in here. There it is, sorry. And similar type action. But again, pretty pretty strong down week. Uh, one of the bigger weeks in, in quite a while. Uh, so really, the, the key action is when you start to look at it on a daily the daily chart. That's where you understand a little bit more in terms of what we're doing. This trend line was broken. This channel that we were in, that's kind of negative. That's just, it, it doesn't continue to have a good look to the upside. But this thing could turn around on Monday morning. I mean, who knows? Uh, we'll have to just watch to see what happens. Now, the Dow Transportation Average. Remember yesterday I was talking about divergence, divergence in here. And I was like, well, well, boy, it sure is ignoring the divergence. Well, all of a sudden the divergence came home to roost on Friday today. Okay, big, big down day. Down 311 points to 72.58. Okay, so that's a much, much bigger percentage move than the Dow Industrials. Had. Actually, that's probably twice the percentage move uh, because we're up at the, you know, twice as high, over twice as high, and had almost the same point uh, move on the, on the Dow. Okay, the NASDAQ. Uh, NASDAQ, big drop down today. Been wondering how it's been levitating. Well, now we're, we're seeing now we still need to get the 10 breaking below the 20, getting this rounding over. You know, we need to get lower lows and lower highs, and we're, we don't have any of that yet. So I think we're all just kind of a little bit concerned. Are we in the process of rolling over? And so that's what we're kind of watching for. Okay, uh, short-term trading index. Short-term trading index closed at 1.74 today, second highest close in, since back over in here, you know, these couple closes in October. Uh, and this 10-day continues to move up. The 10-day was 1.393. Uh, so it's getting up into this range, but uh, we'll just have to watch it and see what happens. Now, the VIX. Uh, where is the volatility index? 
CBOE volatility. This thing exploded to the upside today. Okay, broke the trend line, broke just like here, broke the trend line. Um, so we'll just, you know, we'll have to watch this and see where it goes. We've got the 10-day breaking above the 20-day on this indicator, uh, just the, like the way it did here, the way it did here. Uh, so we could get more to the downside. And again, if it takes out that point on the Dow, then we've got a whole new scenario on our hands, in my opinion. Um, High-low indicator. Okay, high low indicator broke to the downside, broke to negative here, 45 more new lows than there were new highs. And when you look at the XLF, uh, select financial ETF, this really looks negative. The last two days it just fell out of bed. I mean, it broke this trend line from October all the way back here in October. Uh, pretty negative, which had been leading and pushing up and everything kind of, you know, was looking nice. But you get all these little small bars in here. You get all these little small daily ranges. And it's just, it's like the strength of the move. You know, was, you know these moves were stronger. Bigger moves during the day here. Uh, and so th this is, you know, when you look back at this, and I think I may have mentioned this in one of the videos, that we were getting a lot of these small little bars. But now this is not looking so great at all. Um, the Home Builders ETF, this, this broke the trend line also. And this had been in a downtrend. This is now confirming that it's breaking down. And the semiconductors, um, where is the semiconductors? Semiconductors has closed below this trend line. It's touched it a couple of times. This is the first close below the trend line from October also. So this move up from October looks like it's breaking down on several fronts and leads me to believe that the Dow is probably also going to break. Um, I think that's it on the major. One thing I wanted to mention from another indicator standpoint is the Baltic Dry Index, which I hadn't talked about before. And uh, there, it, there it is. This is kind of a weak sign for the economy as a whole. I mean, look at this. This was 2008, 2000, uh, yeah, 2007, 2008. And then it broke down 2008 when everything crashed. And, and, and we're talking about a world recovery. This is a sign of movement of, of um, freighters and freight traffic around the world with shipping. Okay. And so this is a shine of the, sh the world's economy in terms of the shipping rates that people are asking what they're, and, and, uh, what they're getting. And then this trend line just broke for the last half of the year. And then we broke below this October, November low here. So this doesn't have a great picture, in, in my opinion. Um, OK, the other thing I want to touch on is the weekly Apple picture. Uh, it's kind of gone sideways last week, up slightly for the week, last four days uh, from this point. Right at this trend line, uh, if this breaks this trend line, it's going to have a good chance of breaking this trend line in this point. And I got a feeling the move to the downside may accelerate. We'll just have to watch it and see if that's the way it plays out. I believe on Facebook that I think Facebook had this little wedge in, I talked about uh, several days ago. And now it's rolled over, broken down out of that wedge. I think that's the end of it. It's wave five. It's going to correct at least to this point. And it may correct lower since this is the first major impulse wave of Facebook since it started. So it, this is the first major wave up. It's got to correct that wave. And typically, that first correction typically goes 50% or more. But at a minimum, I'm targeting that it's going to be down here in the $43, $44 range. So that's the look on Facebook. Las Vegas Sands is similar in terms of it, I think it's completed five ways up. And it's rolling. It's broken out of this trend channel here. It's broken down below the 50-day. So that also is negative. And uh, that's kind of my snapshot for tonight. Uh, tough couple of days. And we'll just have to see. Uh, we'll talk to you again on Sunday with uh, take a look for trade ideas. And uh, have a great weekend. Uh, I don't need to play that one again. <laughs> have a great weekend. This has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. Thanks for stopping by.